coming together to stop mass shootings against women. Four months after a man opened fire at this Tallahassee yoga studio, the News for Jack's I team learns more about the events that unfolded. Two people were killed and five were injured. Now the I team has been going through the investigative reports. It comes as one of the victims' families is trying to make a difference. This morning, the family of 21-year-old Florida State University shooting victim Mara Binkley launched a nonprofit to study what causes people to kill. Mara's Voice partners with the FSU to research what leads to violence against women. News for Jack's I team reporter Vic Michalucci tells us how her loved ones, Vic, are hoping to do this groundbreaking research, research starting with the man who killed her. Joy and Tark, they really want to make a difference here. Police say this man planned his attack well in advance, months before, but they don't know why he chose to open fire in that yoga class. They found he had a startling history, though, of hatred toward women, which was even reported to the FBI. That's why Mara Binkley's family is launching a foundation to better identify these type of people. We can act. We can act now. Maura Binkley's father turning pain into passion on the Capitol steps today, pushing for research into the root cause of why people like Scott Beerley open fire. Mars voice will explore what lies at the intersection of hatred and violence in our society. Beerley killed FSU student Binkley and professor Dr. Nancy Van Vessem. Plus, he wounded five others at this Tallahassee yoga studio before taking his own life. There were warning signs. Mr. Burley had a history of sexual misconduct towards women, including students that began in his time in grade school. The news for Jack's I team combing through 262 pages of police reports completed a few weeks ago. The 40 year old gunman got two master's degrees from FSU. Also, he was a teacher fired for inappropriately touching a student. Before that, he was in the Army, discharged for inappropriate contact with women. He publicly showed his hatred of women and wrote about murder, rape, and torture in his journals and online. A woman reported his behavior to the FBI just three months before the shooting, but federal agents took no action. The major research university, FSU, can do its part by examining the root causes of violence. Supporters for Mora's voice hope they can conduct groundbreaking research to do a better job at identifying dangerous people before they kill. The group specifically looking for behavior that leads to violence against women. It doesn't have to be this way. We can as a people exercise the collective will to change our culture for the better. Today would have been Mora's 22nd birthday. Her loved ones say she was passionate about peace and love, even marched with Parkland students before her murder. So, Vic, tell us about the, the partnership. How long do you suspect that it's going to last? FSU President John Thrasher says several years. He's expecting it to take some time to take root here. You know, research isn't necessarily a fast process, but he hopes the researchers and the students can work hand-in-hand with lawmakers long into the future and eventually save some lives. So many lives could be saved to be able to figure that out beforehand. Yes. Wow, Vic, thank you.